Hello and welcome to China Daily Top View. I'm Sally Zhang in Beijing. Today we have invited a Japanese friend, Kato, with us. He's been in Beijing for six years, young and successful, very much involving himself in the discussion and participation of improving Sino-Japan relations. Welcome to join us, Kaito. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, you are writer, columnist, and the director, <coughs> and the list is going. And I'm just wondering,、um, what kind of thinking and talk do you usually conduct before the camera? I came here on 2003, and actually, it's a very important time for China and also for Sino-Japan relations. So, as a Japanese, I came here, started to st- study Chinese.、Uh, of course, you know, during six years,、uh, it's a very, you know, how to say,、uh, dynamic but unstable terms for bilateral relationship because, you know, especially. Uh, during the Prime Minister Koizumi, you know, repeatedly visited Yasukuni Shrine. You know, I, I was here, and you know, I experienced and I looked at the like、uh, anti-Japanese demonstration in Beijing, you know, 2005. So I, you know, I personally experienced and felt、uh, how you know important, how you know unstable, how emotional what China-Japan relation is. You know, Do you think your country people would see this kind of、um, history view differently? Yeah. So, what do you think of the、uh, view of history of the young people in Japan? Because I grew up in Japan. You're right. You know, until the eighteen years old, and of course I knew, I had knew some you know facts of history, because Japan was an invader, China was a victim, right? So you know how to communicate. It's a very difficult. And I figured out, you know, I just figured out after coming to China, because in Japan I could never see, I could never, you know, felt that kind of Chinese, you know, people's emotion, you know, their feeling to that history. Of course, between Chinese and Japanese, especially especially among the youth, we hold a totally different feeling perspective. But we need to communicate. That's the point. So. I have, you know, organized or managed some, you know, you know, youth communication program, you know, from between China and Japan. It's a very important. So first, you have you you have to communicate. First, you have to know the difference. You don't have to. You 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 must not take for granted. As a long-time observer here in Beijing, how would you describe the change of Chinese media's representation of Japan? And China's image in Japan, Japanese media. I personally think Chinese media is very, very focused on Japanese, especially you know this time, you know, general election. You know, the, you know, we are our ruling party was changed. You know, just changed. You know, Japan Democratic Party, and I, I was very, I was very surprised. Chinese media concentrated on the reporting, reporting every day. You know. Prime Minister Hatemas, you know his characteristics, you know his policy to Yasukuni Shrine, his policy to foreign, you know, you know policies, every day, big amount. But compared with Chinese report on Japanese issue, you know, Japanese media to China, you you just mentioned the representation, Chinese representation on Japanese media or Japanese public opinion, I think it is not enough.、A、very lack of. Objective or vivid image. So, uh, uh, for Japanese public, it's very difficult to judge, perceive real China. What's a real China? For example, you know,、uh, during the 2003 or especially 2005, anti-Japanese you know demonstration you know happened in Japan, in Beijing, Shanghai, Chengdu, or you know de- many places, and you know. Many people says, "Oh, Japanese media、uh, should it, you know, that kind of image, you know, for example, Chinese some public, you know, throwing the stone、mm-hmm. to the Japanese embassy, you know, and in Japan they report it, you know, every day, right? You know, same image, you know, same screen.、Mm-hmm. I've just mentioned Japan and China, the media's position, media's responsibility, you know, is different, you know. So we some, first we have to understand Japanese media is." Totally commercialized, it's, but it's very normal. We have to, you know, look for some way 
on the basis of difference. It's the point. But uh, Japanese media, of course, now they are trying to make it more balanced, make it more balanced, not only, you know, Chinese in the East area, but also West area, not only developed, you know, places, but also the very, for example, farmer, you know, village, you know, the, how to say, the underdeveloping, you know, places. So recently it's reported that a Japanese-made documentary about the Nanjing massacre will be released very soon. Mm. If it's being released, it's going to be the first documentary to be officially mm. released in mm. Japan. So that's quite a move in Japan. So what do you see of this kind of Yes, uh, first I respect this director, Mr. Takeda, director. He's 30 years old, yeah. very young. Very young. And he interviewed many persons, different persons from China and Japan. All together, 13. Yeah, all together. Th but, you know, if interviewed totally, th more than uh, 500, more mm -hmm. than 500, just, you know, uh, came up, uh, will come up in the screen. I mean, just 13 persons from Japan, 6 and from China, 7. It's, it's not easy because, you know, in Japan, talk about Nanking is to some extent is like a taboo because you know for Japanese people uh, look at the Nanking of course you know Japanese government is recognized and apologize you know to that history you know very much but from the citizen uh, look at Nanking clearly or look at Nanking seriously you know it's a very difficult uh, because I, I, I actually it's a very complicated because you know from Japanese you know perspective to history because many Japanese think uh, we are also the victim mm -hmm. of World War Second because you know atomic bomb to Hiroshima and Nagasaki yes. you know from United States so it's a very you know negative very you know big impact or image for Japanese public mm -hmm. so many people don't want to think about. Nanking or you know invade to China, just standing on we are the victim, because you know oh United States throwing the atomic bomb for the first time on human being history, so it's very complicated for Japanese person. It's a fact. So I hope Chinese person, Chinese people can know it. But uh, uh, re regarding that you know documentary movie, I think it's very difficult, and uh, in Japan I I don't know you know. Uh, how will be, how will that movie be the famous or popular? I don't know, but uh, I know many Chinese, you know, Chinese people, Chinese media are discussing about that. Yeah, I believe uh, that director will receive or many pressures, especially from the right wing in Japan. Yeah, so I, I respect him very much. Japanese Foreign Minister Mr. Okada once expressed that he hopes China, Japan, and South Korea could join efforts to compile the uh, history textbooks. Yes, uh, the first, uh, it's a hope of politician. Uh, I think it's uh, ha uh, some kind of like, uh, you know, top-down, you know, top-down requirement or top-down approach, but it reflects the will. Do you think it's achievable? It, it'll be difficult, mm -hmm. but... So what are the obstacles? Of course, the position, you know, about the history, because Japan was an invader, you know, right? And China and South Korea were the victim. Totally different position from that history, right? Mm -hmm. So how can we get the consensus? Describe the history samely. Is, mm -hmm. it, is it easy? No, it's very difficult. Yeah, so I think it is more symbolic. I think it is, it is, you know, how to say, not only actual, but also very symbolic, and mm -hmm. it can give a great signal yeah. to the, you know, China, mm -hmm. Japan, South Korea society, yeah. Or, in another way, it's more in the purpose of politics. Yeah. Uh, I think it can be said, you know, it's action from the politics, mm -hmm. politics and history, you know. Yeah. But I, I personally, I really want to, you know, read that, you know, uh, cooperative you know, history book, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it'll be a great, it'll be a great achievement.
Thank you very much for Thank the you. wonderful Thank conversation. You. Thank you. Thank you.